I haven't done a list in a while, so we're gonna do one now. We're gonna talk about what happens when you date a guy that you have to convince yourself to like. And I also wanna add that there are exceptions to the rule. I totally get this. I know that you met someone that you're not attracted to and you rode off into the sunset and y'all have lived happily ever after. But again, that's the exception, not the rule. So spare me your Disney-like love story. Nobody gives a shit here. Step one. You meet a guy that you're not attracted to at all. Step two, out of desperation and loneliness, you try to find anything, any way to convince yourself that this guy is actually attractive in some way. Maybe you have to squint your left eye and turn sideways. Maybe you just kind of have to look at him over your shoulder or look at him in the dark, or maybe it's just his personality, but you're trying to find some way to convince yourself that this guy is actually somebody that you can stand being with because you're tired of being alone and you're just, you just want to be in a relationship. Maybe even you have friends that you've told how you feel to, and they're like, eh, you're too picky. And they've influenced your decision as well. Then you completely open your heart to this man and give him a chance. This is where trouble starts. You see a red flag and you convince yourself that it's not red, it's just yellow. Maybe you misunderstood what you heard or saw. And I'm gonna say the shallow part out loud. You can't believe that somebody that you were willing to give a chance to would ever mistreat you, right? He should be lucky to have you so he would never mistreat you. Next step, you see another red flag and you bring it up to them and that's when the gaslighting begins. I didn't really mean that. You took it the wrong way. You're just being too sensitive. You're being overly critical. I've been stressed out because of work. My grandma's been sick. My sister's in the hospital. Work's been hard. I'm frustrated because I just don't know what to do to make you happy. I thought you were a chill, go with the flow girl, so I'm kind of confused by this conversation. Next thing is he realizes that his cover is blown. He no longer idolizes you. He starts to see you as a real person, and he preferred the fantasy that assumed that somebody like you would never give him a chance. He starts to pull back. He might even start trying his luck with dating other women. I mean, because if he could pull you, sky's the limit. His nice guy cover has been blown. You actually see that this man is mm, not really a nice guy. He's actually a jerk, just like all the other ones. And he knows that you know that. So in order to protect himself, he's going to pull back and try to create some resistance to try to get you to chase him again. Which leads me to my next point. You notice he's pulling back. You try harder to make him act the way he once did. You gaslight yourself and you start to diagnose him with various things that will excuse his behavior. This is where you'll start to say, well, maybe he's just depressed. I've even heard women say, maybe he just has autism. Maybe he has ADHD. Maybe it is the stress of everything going on in the world. I don't know. You're finding any and every excuse to avoid just embracing the simple fact that this guy is an asshole and you don't need to be with him. He is treating you the way you actually know in the back of your brain that this loser is treating you, which is horribly. Here's the next one. You try to talk to him again, a blow up argument happens, he asks for space and he breaks up with you. Last one. You're devastated and heartbroken and wish you never gave him a chance. I've done a video about this particular one before. Things we can learn from men that might seem superficial, but one thing a man's gonna do is self-preserve, okay? And we always gotta give everybody a chance. And you hear so many people telling women, date short guys, date the not so attractive guys, date the broke guys, date the young guys, date this guy. They're all guys at the end of the day, okay, y'all? That's the part that we seem to be missing. And there are some exceptions to the rule. Maybe you got with a short king and it worked out for you. Maybe you dated the guy who looked like Beetlejuice and he wound up being the love of your life. But there is not any particular group of men that you can look at them and say, if I date them, they're automatically going to treat me well. They are men in a world that was built to benefit them. And they know this. And as the Blanche Devereaux of TikTok, I've dated just about every type of man, including the types of men that people tell women that they should give a chance to. And they have 
have been assholes. You treat men how they treat you. You take it as a case by case basis. It has nothing to do with tall, short, how much money, what size they are, what race they are, what religion they are. It has nothing to do with that. It is a case by case basis. Long story short, if you're not attracted to a guy, you're just not attracted to him. You're not being picky, okay? It's it's okay. And stop listening to people who try to convince you that you're too picky and that you could settle. There are guys who have met me and they would they would barely even look me in the face. There's something about me that they're just not attracted to. It could be the fact that they can tell that I'm not going to put up with their shit. But if they don't like you, they're not giving you a chance. End of discussion. They don't care what their homeboys say. Nothing. That's the end of discussion. But we got to hmm and ha and ponder because we don't want to be alone. We want to hurry up and get married. Our biological clock is ticking and we want to have kids. We're tired of sitting in our bed on Friday nights and watching House Hunters. So we're willing to give anybody who shows us 15 minutes of attention a chance. And then that's where you get to the point where you're coming on TikTok making couples humor jokes that actually aren't funny about your man who's treating you like you're a joke to him. Stop settling. You want what you want. And you get in the danger zone when you start to have those moments where you're trying to convince yourself that the things that you said that you wanted, you really don't want them. They're not that important. You're just being superficial. No, want what you want and be willing to wait until you get what you want. The waiting area is where a lot of us get ourselves into trouble because we don't want to wait to get what we want. We want to just hurry up and rush through it. And then you settle. And then you realize after you've wasted years of your life, possibly popped out some kids, possibly got married. Now you got to go through the legal system. And then you realize how much of a mistake that you made. Men rarely will ever settle unless it's a situation that will benefit them in a major way. We settle all the fucking time. Stop it. It's okay if you don't think the guy is cute. Move on to the next guy or just wait till the right one comes along.